session I will show you how Copilot will help me to code faster, taking uh, the context of my application, the context of the page that I am coding, the source code, the function. In this case, I will just add some HTML here to say I want to add some data in this page, but also some summary with a detail uh, in here. So for this, I, since I know the data set, I will just use uh, my uh, some specific command to say I want to use uh, the uh, show the nautical mile, the 30 minutes and the hours based on my current data set. So I just call enter and you will show me, you see, based on the existing content of my page, uh, you will generate the proper HTML. Oh, I forgot to accept, sorry. Oh, and I will just close this. And now I should have here the new data. You see, I can modify, so for example, to say nautical, nautical uh, 30 minutes one hour and that's it so you use single value but now i want to do the same here where i need uh, uh, more data more information so i see that it's here alpha uh, so it's going down so it will be here so more stats and you see here the notation is different i'm not accessing the data differently i'm using an include so imagine you are working on a specific <coughs> A data set with specific frameworks like Angular and so on, you will take in the context also with the, the different components that you are using. I'm using plain HTML here and I will do the same. So show 500 meters, uh, uh, the nautical mile, and for example, the alpha sensor that is another value that I have in my data set. So I wait for a copilot to generate the data. And as you can see, it has generated using the same context that is above. So if I refresh the page now, I have the proper notation. So 500 meters, the nautical mile on the, five, uh, um, the alpha 500 with a different data set. So by having the context of the application, the context of where I am, in my code what I am doing, the suggestions from Copilot are really helping me to code faster.